Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bob Thomas. I'm a venture investor based here in Sweden. Uh, and four years ago, I moved here with my family, and I'm very lucky to have been welcomed into this beautiful country of contrast. So, Stottak, Sverige. Brilliant Innovators is an initiative from Brilliant Minds to showcase eight super high potential, super high impact creators and change makers to you, the Brilliant Minds Network. Yesterday morning, eight startups pitched to a panel of eight jurors from the field of politics, the field of investing, the field of advisory and, and operators in order to find the most high potential startup to bring in front of you here today. Deliberations were fierce, tears were shed, mostly mine. And I'm very pleased that the outcome of it was a clear winner who will present to you now. I'm very pleased to welcome Molecular Attraction. Hi, everyone. Uh, mosquitoes can be beautiful. <laughs> There's three and a half thousand species of mosquitoes out there, and 98% of them are completely harmless. It's only three uh, families and the females from those families which need our blood to lay eggs, and those are the ones which you're usually thinking about, and those are the ones which you hate. Uh, for the last... Yes. For the last 80 years, uh, we have a fantastically efficient way to kill mosquitoes, sprayable pesticides, but as you can know, they're, they're extremely harmless to the environment and to our health. Uh, but it is still the most used and cost-efficient way to kill mosquitoes. This is Jakarta in 2016, city center. Um, but there's one more issue. Mosquitoes are evolving and adapting constantly. Half of African countries now have a population of mosquitoes which are resistant to modern pesticides, and DDT resistant is rampant throughout India. But we can harness the power of biology, um, and you need to bear with me for a second. Um, malaria parasite, in its life cycle, need to go from human host to a mosquito host to another human host, and so on and so on. So to do that, over the millions of years of evolution, it learned how to produce molecules which are super attractive for female mosquitoes and which are making our blood irresistible for them um, when they feed, when malaria is ready. We identified those molecules um, and now we can mass produce them to control mosquito behavior. What you're looking at are female mosquitoes which are not drinking blood, but just salty water with trace amount of uh, those molecules. We uh, colored uh, them blue just for the artistic effect. Um, yeah, those molecules are extremely simple, but they're super mosquito-specific. But they also work for all the blood-drinking mosquitoes out there. And because they're so potent, we can put them, for example, in a tiny feeder like this, which attracts mos female mosquitoes, they drink from it, and they die. And we don't even need to use uh, traditional toxins. You're looking at the Anopheles female uh, killed by drinking beetroot juice. Uh, switching to plant-based diet for mosquitoes is not a good idea. <laughs> um, so we also have a number of other molecules in our portfolio, from sex pheromones to mating stimulants. So what we do is basically we produce molecules which are controlling mosquito behavior. Um, it can sound like science fiction, uh, but it's actually science. We publish in top-tier top journals, and we also have a number of patents pending. Uh, we're a team of eight, uh, six women, two guys, three founders. Um, Johan, 20 years in the land and property management, which is the sector which is the biggest end consumer uh, for products like this. I'm an immunologist, uh, previously founded and built a company uh, which is doing tuberculosis and malaria diagnostics. But the most important member of our team is Nushin. So Nushin Emami, uh, she started 20 years ago as a volunteer at the Afghan-Iranian border, collecting malaria samples for diagnostics. And now, 20 years later, she's an um, accomplished academic, inventor, pioneer, and she's a force of nature. And also, she's the only person I know who refers to lab mosquitoes as my babies. <laughs> um, but let's talk numbers. 
uh, according to GiveWell, the cheapest way to save a human life is to prevent malaria by buying pesticides, uh, pesticide impregnated uh, mosquito nets. $5 per net, $4,500 per life. 70% of those lives are children under the age of five. Uh, but we need to do better. Um, there are fantastic technologies coming up now. Uh, GMO males, um, CO2 traps. Uh, so using simple molecules can seem uh, boring, uh, but it has three advantages. It's extremely scalable. It's super easy to use for our end customers who are pest control companies and uh, vector eradication programs because they're used to using uh, chemicals. Um, and it's cheap. This is 11 euro cents, so 12 uh, dollar cents per cost of goods per unit. Uh, and because it's essentially the same product for all the markets, we can offset the price and charge uh, people in Florida um, a lot and people in Nigeria very little. Um, so if you want to help, help us scale. Because in this case, scale really, really matters. Thank you.